Hi guys, it's Jason again at Normal Soul Sportswear. So I've been doing a series of videos, um, basically introducing some of you guys to some of the old vintage heads. And in this video, we're gonna show you the STX High Wall. So the High Wall was introduced by STX in 1983, I believe. Um, this is an STX High Wall. Now this is one with a, a pocket we've put in. So we've renovated this one. Uh, now, I think the high wall actually came after a stick called the STX laser light. Um, now, I'm still trying to track down a laser light. So if you have an STX laser light, hit us up. And I believe there was a women's version, I think called the lady light. I'm sure I've seen an old advert somewhere, um, which has got... Uh, Bobby Grebe on one side of the poster with the STX laser light and there's a women's player um, who I'm not sure if she worked at STX or was a sponsored STX athlete holding a lady light. So I'm trying to track those two sticks down but uh, STX laser high wall, laser high wall. Um, so these things had a two inch deep side wall which I believe is the first stick to have a two inch deep sidewall, I believe. I uh, could be wrong, so if I'm wrong, please comment below and let me know that, oh no, you were wrong. This stick had a two inch depth high, uh, sidewall first. So if I'm wrong, let me know. I'm always learning, happy to learn more about some of these sticks. Um, so there was a couple of different uh, sticks I wanna show you from this high wall collection. This nice red trad. The golden high wall, which were limited edition. These are two different golden high walls. Uh, this one had the black and the kind of the bootlace side wall. And had a really cool handle up. Golden high wall. And it says down there too. There you go. Limited edition. This one's in great shape considering it's probably from about, I started, I think I started in 1990. Or it might be in 1989 I started, maybe 1989. But um, most of my teammates actually bought high walls. Um, I bought a high walls, my first stick. I played defense when I first started. And I actually bought a, um, not a golden high wall, I actually had the, the regular high wall. It was a black one I had. And uh, a couple of seasons later, I actually had an, a Hopkins dyed high wall. And I wish I still had that high wall. Um, so if you know where my Hopkins dyed high wall is, uh, I would love to. I, I sold it to a kid who started my team and he gave up like maybe six months later. And if I can remember the name of that kid, I would track him down on Facebook and go, hey, you used to play lacrosse with me. I would like to buy that stick back. I sold you like 28 years ago. And he didn't think I was mad, but I would love to find that stick. Um, I know that Vintage Lacrosse has a team issue, uh, STX died, Hopkins High Wall. Um, and I'm thinking about buying it, um, but it's very, very expensive. So. Uh, Ryan, you have to do me a good deal on that high wall if I decide to buy it. Um, so the other golden high wall has this kind of funky neon yellow, kind of neon green and pink trad stringing in it, which I always thought these were vile. I think there was only one, one kid on the team I played on that had this stick. Now, the way you can tell the golden high wall is A, they only came in black, B, they only came in these two colorways, which I wasn't a fan of either. Um, and it's probably better to see on this one, it had a G on it for Golden High Wall. As where this one had nothing on it for High Wall. Um, there's a couple other cool High Walls I'm gonna show you. So this one still needs stringing, but um, this one's got kind of later graphics on the STX Torque alloy handle, but it's still got the round throat. 
Now, you'll see later high walls, which they stopped doing the round throat kind of shortly after doing this torque handle. And um, they switched the octagonal throat. So they obviously had to remold the head. And again, somewhere in my collection of hundreds of old plastic heads, I'm sure I've got an octagonal um, high wall or five or six or some crazy amount of them. But uh, this one's gonna get restrung. Now, I mentioned in another video uh, that some people used to use either oversized ball stops or double ball stops. And again, back when I was playing early 90s, it was quite common to see where people would put a second ball stop on here and the ball would just sit up nicely behind the ball stop and not come out. Um, you didn't see so many stick checks back then, but one thing that referees used to miss was the double ball stop. And uh, yeah, so sneaky little thing that we used to do on our sticks back then. And I don't actually have a stick that looks like this, but again, the high wall was an era where people were still kind of bending handles. So you might find this very odd, but some people would deliberately, I'm sure the Gate Brothers started it because most things of that area, the Gate Brothers started and everybody else tried to copy them. Um, but people would bend the handle kind of down here. Yeah, because um, the ball came out your stick hot quicker. You know, it was just something you did. Um, I played defense at the time, so the only handles I was bending was on attackman. Um, and no surprise back then that you would go through a lot of handles because most handles were, were alloy uh, or wood. Now, you will actually find a snapshot handle, which was a graphite handle SDX used to do at the time. Now, I, again, that's something I don't have in my collection. So if you have a snapshot, then let me know. It came in octagonal, it also had the rounded throat. Um, ideally, I'd like one of each, um, or 10 of each. But uh, yeah, I'd love to try and find one of those with a round throat. Um, I remember a teammate of mine back in the day, kid called Simon Hurst, whose dad was one of the managers of the team. Um, we were practicing at the school we went to um, and I checked his stick and broke his round top throat section of his handle of his snapshot and he was, he was kind of pissed with me. And we were walking home because his, his house was on the way to my house and he kind of... Uh, reminding me the entire way back, you've broken my handle, you owe me a handle, you've broken my handle. Because at the time, the, the, the graphite snapshot was a really expensive handle. Um, now, a couple of years later, um, titanium handles would come out and there was actually a round throat titanium handle. I remember my brother bought one when we were on tour to, um, uh, to Towson in... 1996 and he bought one i have no idea where that is now um i probably lent it to some kid i was coaching at the time and it's probably in landfill somewhere or sitting in somebody's garage so again round top titanium um high wall handle yeah, i'd love to find one but um those those things are pretty rare to see the ones with the round tops um there's a couple other cool high walls i'm going to show you here so, I always find it quite interesting when you see a player's name on a stick. So, uh, uh, Michael Negro, Negro, I'm not sure, but uh, I have your high wall, Michael. Uh, this one's dyed, really faded this dive. It's dyed with STX on the scoop and it says wave on the side. So whether this name was put in later and maybe this guy's surname was Wave, um, maybe there was an STX sponsored team at the time, maybe the guy even worked at STX, I have no idea, but uh, it's always nice to find um, a stick that's got somebody's name on. This one obviously, I, I suspect Michael or whoever owned this stick after the original owns this, was a youth player because it's got a teeny tiny handle on it. It's tiny. It's been cut down. And we've got a couple other cool dies here. I've got a whole stack of sticks here that they were sitting in an umbrella stand and uh, they're now leaning against the umbrella stand. So at any moment, they're all going to topple on the floor. 
what I should have done is put them back in the umbrella stand. Um, so there's a couple more dies here. So there's Maryland Terrapins die here, Terps. So Maryland on the side and uh, Maryland on this side. Now, whoever owned the stick, I'm not sure. I, I did Google the, the, the name on this, uh, Catone, to see if it was someone who, who played at Maryland, but I couldn't find anything. Um, obviously played number four. I've actually got a couple of other this guy's sticks actually over there in the collection. I think this and, and the other ones um, came from Ryan at Vintage Lacrosse. And uh, he knows I like these old, these old uh, dyed sticks. But this guy obviously wasn't content with his Terps dye and wanted to go uh, even more custom, but it was too late, it already been dyed. So he's added here some tape. I don't want to take this tape off because underneath it, it might well be really vibrant colors, the original dye, so it's gonna look a bit stupid. Um, he's sharpied down this ridge here. At some point, he's actually sharpied the STX as well. Sharpie down this ridge. He's added STX in little stickers and Terrapins in little stickers. When I bought this originally, I actually thought this was all dyed. I thought it was such a cool stick. Uh, he's put his name on here and his number and the word lax. And on the video, you probably can't even tell that these are little decals, but um, those are decals. The original die is just Terps. Maryland, Maryland. The, the uh, colours are a bit faded, but um, I still think it looks really cool. Now, interestingly enough, this one has got a STX branded handle, wooden handle. This is STX lacrosse on both sides. And then the last die I'm going to show you here. Oh, that was, that was the uh, start of the sticks dropping that I didn't put back in the umbrella stand. I'll put that one back in before this one drops. But here's another cool die. With a Rutgers die. And the, uh, this is not the original trad that would have gone in this. I wonder if this came from uh, maybe Ullman. So again, if you're of a certain age, you will remember Ullman. It's got the, there's another stick I just dropped. I really should put them back as some brown stamp. But uh, this one is kind of like, a, you'd refer to it now as like a six shooter, I think. Um, but it's almost got like a second sidewall in or a, with a six shooter, you run a, so it's the four leathers and then you have a nylon outer Sometimes people use another leather, I've seen that, but um, you see that strung a little bit differently from a, a standard shroud. I'll just show you the, uh, the standard shroud there for time. See the outer section here where the red is. It's just a little bit more going on there. But well, cool Rutgers dies. These old dies are really cool. But uh, STX high walls.